Welcome back, and when we last left off, we had just started milling this uh, right-hand side, uh, sorry, left-hand side lower wing strake. And so here we're a little bit further along, um, having done the face cuts on there, and then I set it up on uh, Wednesday evening, I believe, to run all the ball mill passes, and that took about, um, I think it was about 16 hours to do that whole of the wheel well there. And the guys already had the next platform ready for me, so this is the uh, left side um, upper wing strake um, platform there, ready to be milled in foam. And for the next round of mold making, these are these A-frames that go between the aft bulkhead and the firewall. So the guys uh, laid up the uh, black top coat, um, and actually using a brush this time, just because it's quicker than uh, waiting for it to dry when you spray it. And this is uh, the next day after it's actually been laid, the first layers on that, uh, just the lightweight uh, fiberglass and lightweight carbon fiber, so they're ready for the heavy layers now. And this is a little bit further along on Wednesday evening here, just getting the last of the uh, face cuts done down in the bottom of that wheel well um, in preparation for doing the rest of the ball milling uh, down um, around all the lower sides of that, which that was the thing that took the longest to do. Uh, but didn't have any problems with that, especially after knowing how to do it from the first one. And so the lower strake was finished on the next morning, so this is a little bit later on Thursday, and uh, here doing that uh, blank that you saw just before, this is the uh, left-hand side upper wing strake. And you can see there, we're just with a long ball mill, um, just doing the leading edge of the uh, wing there. And uh, didn't have any problems with that. And so there's the finished, well, almost finished product that still needs to be cleaned off there so it can um, be ready for fiberglass. And you can see it came out pretty nicely. And so Zach had actually gone and cleaned it up around the edges there and both Zach and Devon were uh, laying up the uh, fiberglass on this one. So it can be uh, sprayed with putty. So that that makes uh, both upper and lower left and right the strakes um, pretty much in the process of being done now in terms of you know creating the plugs. So this is the right hand side upper wing strake um, in putty ready to be have its final milling done and this is just the first cut starting out here on one of the areas of the flange there. So you can see Jeff's got just the right amount of putty on there. No low spots and not too deep. So that one um, just went fairly smoothly. And here we are a little bit further along. So doing the leading edge there. Already done the upper surface and most of the flanges. So just uh, doing the leading edge with the flat mill there. The short flat mill. And... Uh, you know, the machine, because it's so dialed in now, that surface is perfect. It just needs a light sanding, really. I mean, it's so smooth. There's no sort of uh, ridging or anything on there. It's really, uh, really coming out nicely. Super happy about that. And there's the finished product uh, off the mill, sitting on the floor behind it. And in between the um, two lower strakes there that you'll see in a minute. So there's three different things there now that are ready for uh, their guide coat and uh, first round of sanding. But again, not very much required there. And there's a closer look at the left side one um, with all the shaving sort of blown off there and you can see how nicely that came out. And you actually see on the leading edge the little joggle in there where the top surface will overlap uh, the bottom surface. And here is the one for the right side. And again, uh, that one came out uh, you know, very nice. Not, not very much work required there at all to get that one uh, ready for the first uh, round of primer. And there you can see the guys have completed glassing this uh, left side upper wing straight one. So that one's ready to have the putty sprayed on there now. So this is good practice for us for when we're doing the rest of the wings. And um, we'd be using the same techniques and everything should go fairly smoothly. And here's a look at the first outer door frame mold that 
the five piece one that's been released now so you can see all the different pieces in there they still need to be uh, trimmed around the edges there but they came out um, nicely it was a little bit tricky releasing the whole thing Jeff had a little bit of a struggle with it but um, got it all uh, all the five pieces released without too much uh, sort of collateral damage to the plug or any of the parts of the mold so that's that's a good uh, milestone for us there and this is the other one and Chris and Roberto are just finishing off um, putting some carbon fiber over those bushings so that one uh, next week will be getting uh, released from its plug as well so we'll finally be able to get those two large plugs out of the shop one's actually already gone which is good so it's made some more space and this one will be out of here uh, early next week okay so now that we've got the uh, upper and lower uh, surfaces done for the wing strake the next thing to do is focus on the ribs there and so here you are looking at uh, the inside of, of the strake which is basically where most of the fuel is kept on both uh, left and right side and so here I'm highlighting the various different uh, ribs which also are basically double as baffles in the tank to stop the fuel from slushing around and there you can see I've separated them out from the model so those are the those are the main parts there's a couple more back one on the back and one on the front but anyway these are the first set and this is them uh, laid up uh, ready to be milled so just a flat flange and they've all just been turned so they're on their face um, added some little fillets around the corners there and laid them um, nicely out and so those ones are ready to mill now and here we have the one that goes at the front of the tank and also the one that's on the back of the one that's attached or the leading edge is attached to the door and as you can see I've mirrored it so there's left and right pieces there so four pieces in total and likewise there's the actual part that uh, sticks to or is bonded to the door skin to sort of make up the wing and there it is laid out with left and right as one uh, particular plug ready to uh, ready to mill and here is the first of those up on the mill and already done the roughing cut around the flange and sort of uh, cut in between some of them and just doing the face cut on the top of some of those there and here you see a little bit further along the ball mill is being used to go around the edges and that um, gives us a nice little radius not only on the top but on the bottom transition to the flat uh, flange there and there you can see it's uh, running along there so that one actually didn't take too long to do only a couple of hours really um, to finish that one off so we'll be doing quite a few of those when we do the, uh, the ribs for the wings as well anyway that's our update for this week uh, thanks again for watching